Hi guys. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about finding your own style because I've had a couple of questions about that lately and I figured I'd do a video on it. So um, I just want you guys to know that your style is just a reflection of your personality. So the first thing I would want you to do is to get to know your own preferences. Uh, what kinds of art you like and what does the art that you like uh, have that you uh, connect with? So sit down and think about that and when you find, once you find out what it is, I want you to take it and bring it into your own work. It might be color, it might be a composition, it might be line work, whatever it is, take it and use it in your work because that is going to make you happy and being happy is a real good start when you want to start painting. So um, the next thing is to find out what it is that inspires you. It could be a walk in the park, it could be a person, or like for me, it's the ocean. I'm really, really inspired by the ocean. I love uh, the smells, the sounds, the sands, the colors. I use the colors in my work all the time. And I'm also inspired by my own, uh, my own emotions. I've been on a, a journey to healing for a few years now after uh, some trauma I had in my childhood and I've used that in my work so much guys. So if you uh, connect with your own emotions like that, it's great to use. So think about what you, what you are inspired by. The next thing I want to talk about is getting over your own fears. So uh, there has to be room to make mistakes. I know nobody likes to make mistakes and I know that you don't like making bad art. I don't like making bad art, but we all do. And that's just the fact. And instead of putting yourself down, like I used to put myself down all the time. I used to like say to myself that I was never going to be good at this and this isn't working and oh, you suck and da 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 da. Stop that. It's not going to help you at all. And what you need to do instead is to actually sit down and look at that ugly art and see if there's anything in there that you like. Because it could be just like uh, the way you held your paintbrush when you were working on it. Or it could be uh, some line work that you did with say charcoal and you really like it you have to take note of that and you have to bring it into your work because that is who you are, okay? So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is supplies. Mm. If you have a lot of supplies that you never use, clear them away. I mean, just surround yourself with uh, the supplies that you love. Uh, when I first started out, I had so much stuff that I bought and I never used and it was just dragging me down. It just made me feel real bad that I had bought all that stuff and I, and I wasn't using it. So you could like clear it away or give it away, sell it, whatever. Just get it out of the way uh, when you create because you don't want that dragging you down. The next thing is practice. You need to practice, practice, practice. So every artist that you admire will probably tell you that they have hours and hours of practice behind them. And I don't care if they're figurative artists or if they're abstract artists. That doesn't matter at all. You still need to practice. And that's where my art journal is so amazing. It gives me uh, the opportunity to paint so much more than uh, people who don't art journal paint because they're working on canvas all the time, right? And here I am getting to know myself I mean, I'm painting probably 10 times what they paint because I'm, I can paint every day if I want to. I have no problem with that. I just flip the page in my book and I have a new one. All right. So, um, again, your style is just a reflection of who you are. So saying you don't have a style, that's not possible because everybody has their own personality. All right. So I just want you guys to uh, remember that you are good enough and you can do this, all right? All right, I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye-bye.